Yes. Which we haven't quite addressed yet. And then maybe a question the Rev. So what I've already mentioned is um, uh, the Bristol Airport has defended its multi-faith cabin, which is in a car park, uh, which is uh, lighten- likened to a bus shelter. And you'll have to look up a picture if you want to see it. But it's it's quite it's quite remarkable. The airport issued a four paragraph statement explaining its decision after the unveiling of the new car park facility was mocked by social media over, over its appearance a photograph of the structure was posted on twitter stating it would provide a quote private space to reflect and pray whilst waiting to collect friends and family i think it looks more like a kind of suicide booth personally um on one twitter user asked has the bus shelter been repurposed while another queried this is a parody others highlighted its likeness to a smoking shelter posting you've just stuck a sticker on the smoking area another tweeted pilgrims of all faiths will be coming from all over the globe to worship in this ornate wonder uh, it's been uh, mocked um, mercilessly. There was actually a very interesting article on Spiked, which I, I couldn't really tell whether it was, so it wasn't Spiked, it was um, the critic. I couldn't tell whether it was serious or not. It was trying to make a sort of serious religious case for the, for the, for the, um, this multi-faith quiet area. Oh, but I mean, it's, it is, it is shocking. It's like the, this is where the sort of lowest common denominator, multiculturalism, multi-faith secularism really leads to this. It just, soulless uh, soulless piece of um, I pity non- anyone who has to try and use that I mean uh, it, it doesn't even look like it has a carpet or anything it just looks like it's been stuck on the top of a of a tarmac and it doesn't help that the picture was obviously taken on a really grey autumn day where it's been raining and the, the floor <laughs> looks wet and I mean it's just it's just shocking isn't it I mean what do you think Daniel <laughs> they think uh, Ah, oh, it is it is uh, grim. I mean, and bland on a on a whole new level, isn't it? I mean, if if you were um, a devout Muslim using that in the you know particularly in the winter months for um, one of the five prayers, I mean, goodness, you, you'd be you'd you'd be chilled to the bone. I'd have thought. Uh, I mean, you, you couldn't you couldn't use that. For instance, uh, I mean, there's lots of been spoofs, and they about, oh, I'm going to go and say high mass. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. I mean, it, what? It's the most uninviting place on the planet. I'd have thought. Uh, I mean, what? What were they? What sort of group think got them to that point where they thought that was that was in any way humane or acceptable for any faith group w- would would want to, to to even use that. I mean, it doesn't even look it doesn't look private, it doesn't look cozy, it doesn't look warm, it um it looks uninviting, it's got no aesthetic appeal. Um yeah. uh, good, goodness gracious uh, uh before before this current appointment I was a university chaplain in, in Aberdeen who had a bit of experience of these um prayer rooms and that. And I know it can because of sensitivities, it can be very easy to fall into the um, into into making a space that that um, says nothing and pleases no one. Yeah, yeah, uh, definitely. And and this is um, you know this is a prime example. I mean, you know, it, I think if you typed in um, open AI, AI's Dali and said. Paint me a picture of the worst religious space imaginable. Mm. This, this would be it. It, it. You know, it's just yeah, bizarre. It's weird, isn't it? And a number of people have have said that this isn't actually a multi faith area at all. This is a Muslim prayer space because Muslims need to be need to pray five times a day, so they they need these places everywhere. So that's yeah. just another it's another angle to it as well. It's hard, as you say, Daniel. It's hardly a space which is. Um, in any way sort of usable for christians i mean what would you what would you do in there and even even the picture on the outside is of a man who looks like he's reciting muslim prayers because he's praying and he's he's sorry he's kneeling and his gesture is a very it looks very much like a like a muslim kind of silhouette so there's there's that aspect to it as well but yeah there is something there isn't it that this is this is the kind of the sort of secular state hollowing out religion it was, i mean it kind of relates to what i was saying earlier that the kind of notion of religion is a kind of made up concept when you try and sort of crystallize what religion actually is it's just nothing it doesn't it doesn't mean anything because it doesn't have you know the the, the supposed kind of 
religions of the world have actually very little in common with each other you know that you might say well you know they all believe in god but you know the conceptions of god are in many ways quite different and and certainly aesthetically they they've got completely different aesthetics so what and different rituals and all that kind of stuff so when you actually bring wonder, them together are they going to have some sort of consecration blessing or you know, well cutting exactly of, cutting of ribbons yeah. to openness um that that would be um a photo shoot wouldn't it yeah it raises me.